Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a realistic skin shader by using V-Ray shader in Maya. First, import your mesh. Then create some lights according to your choice. Here, I have created four lights, three V-Ray rectangle light and one V-Ray dome light. Now, to create these lights, either go to this V-Ray tab and create these lights or go to create, then lights, and then select these lights. Now, this is the main light, and here are its translations and its value. So if you want the same lighting as in this scene, copy it as shown here. This is the rim light, and here are its settings. This is the fill light, and here are its settings. And, this is the HDRI light, and here are its settings. After creating it, go to Texture, then select Dome Text, and click on the box. Add a file node, and then select your HDRI. Now select the mesh, then right-click and select Assign New Material. Select V-Ray and then click on V-Ray L Surface Material, which is mainly designed for shading skin and produce great results. Rename the material. Now go to V-Ray, then click on Show V-Ray VFB and start the render. Select the mesh, then change the color so we can see the displacement properly. Now to add displacement, Select the mesh, then go to V-Ray and select V-Ray Displacement. You will see a V-Ray Displacement attribute added here. Select it. Go to Displacement Texture and add a file node. Then add your displacement map. Make sure to change the color space to row. And then go to Color Balance and click on Alpha is Luminance so that the texture works properly. Now start the render and you will see that the displacement is not working properly. So to fix that open attribute editor and select the mesh. Then click on head shape. Go to attributes and click on V-Ray and add subdivision. Subdivision and displacement quality and displacement control. I have added links in the description, so if you want to know about these attributes and why I have added them, so you can go and see there. After adding these attributes, you will see an extra V-Ray attributes will be open down here. Click it. Then start the render. You will see that there is no difference in output. So to fix it, go to Attribute Editor and change some settings. Leave the subdivision attribute as it is. Then go to subdivision and displacement quality and change the edge length to 2 and max subdivs to 16. You can add different values to these attributes according to your model. I have added these values here because these values gave me the best result. Now go to displacement control and change displacement amount to 0.1. Then click on keep continuity and change displacement bounds to explicit. Now let's check the render. You will see that the displacement is working properly. Now add your camera and change the render settings according to your choice.
I have left other Vira render settings as it is you can change them according to your choice. Now go to render current frame and start rendering.